watching the police till after? Yes. Okay. I highly recommend you ask uh, to do a feedback with them, even just to hear what they think about themselves and what they did well and what they'd like to work on. And you don't have to give them feedback. The truth is not everybody here wants to hear feedback. And I don't like that because I feel like we should all be humble and open to feedback to help ourselves grow and, and pay attention and keep challenging ourselves, you know? You know what a challenge it was to create these wall classes and these aerial classes? And it was just, we were you guys, we were like, ah, uh, put your right foot, you know, <laughs> one foot, put it in. And we had, what, 48 hours that we had in advance, three days to a week, and the Mike's like, we're opening, figure it out, and we're like, okay. <laughs> and I had not taught Ariel in seven years, and I never taught law, ever. But we sat down and we said, well, let's just base it off of Ashanga, a little warm up, some strengthening standing poses, and some stretches, inversion of back up, boom, we're done. Any class is really based, any Hatha class is based on this Ashanga. Mm -hmm. So let that sink in that you have everything you need just by knowing that. Um, stay connected with your primary intentions. What are your primary intentions for your teacher principals? What's your intention, Jess? To inspire, to bring healing energy, to make them, to help guide them better in life, hoping that they can take little bits out of the class that I tend to be in for you guys in life, and it's something that I think you carry that benefits on in everything that you do, and not just here in my life. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Anybody else have an intention? Go ahead. Uh, I've, I was, I've been thinking about my Monday class, and mm -hmm. I was thinking, I want to make them laugh, I want to bring them to their edge, and I want to help them relax. I have one. Mine is going to be, I just want to allow the students and guidance to connect with themselves. Because um, I think that's really for me. It just makes me more aware of my own body and issues, my own craft, how I'm being controlled, those kind of things. Um, and I like really focusing on that part of the day. Mm -hmm. For me, it's the, it's the mental part, the, the breath, and the feeling the difficulties in the poses, and then being able to feel the difficulties in life, and knowing that I'm going to come out the other side. You are, you already have. I snap this week. Um, you have to eat your lunch, girl. Yeah, what are you talking about? I am eating. This is how I eat. I'm not like a... Um, I'm just going to say something to you. Alright, let's It'll come back. Next boat. Next thing. Are you good at that? Mm. Uh, with your eyes closed, Catherine, lead into pyramid pose. Let me stop if you can lead. Do you have to listen to your feet? Inhale, strong feet on one side of your mat. Exhale, turn your feet quarter turn to the right. Um, you said pyramid. So then we're going to pull lower back. Yep. Go back. Rewind. Press. Movement of your feet. Do your breath movement pose your feet. Okay, so exhale, top of your down. As I breath movement, did I say it wrong? No. Okay, so, uh, 
Okay, so we're at the top of our mat. Exhale, sound of CBD, hands to heart center. Inhale, strong feet inside of our mat. Exhale, turn your toes, quarter turn to the right. And forward fold over that straight right leg. And in the your toes. Top leg, keep going. Um, make sure our feet are grounded, all four corners of our feet. Rotating our inner thighs back to feel support from below. Keeping belly button to the spine. Inhale, back feet to lengthen. Exhale, hold deeper. We're going to hold here. Pushing yourself to your edge today. Really feeling that stress in your hamstrings. And then exhale, look at your toes. Support the spine, inhale, strong feet, top of the mat, or side of the mat. Exhale, we're gonna repeat on the other side, turn the toes, one to turn to the other left. Exhale, over that straight right leg, <coughs> left leg, excuse me. And again, on the same side, you're taking two around and feeling that support from below. So we're pushing into all four corners of the mat, trying to spread the part with our feet, our inner thighs are going to rotate inward. Exhale, look your toes. Inhale, strong feet, side of the mat. Exhale, top of the mat, down the CBD, equal to your toes. Feet deck. side and I feel like you want to make sure that you're letting them sort of try feel out the pose and then adjust as necessary. That's the last two and half seconds. Yeah. Okay. Really great job on your cues though. Thank you. I think you had Yes, please. I think you did really well with um, the cues of how to adjust your body in the pose. But one thing that um, I think is important to remember is your hand placement. So hands behind back or grabbing opposing elbows. And um, yeah, that would be my point. Yeah, for sure, thank you. Yeah, I think uh, like you have the cues, I feel like the pace, you were rushing to get through it. You were like, I wanna be done. You know, that's how it felt. And rather than you really guiding us through it and that you're, you know, like, like more of a yoga voice, less casual talking. Does anyone say. have any like timing this. suggestions? Because I, I notice that too. I, I talk, and I think a lot of nerves. I go very smooth, and I'm already very fast. Just and then once my nerves kick in, mm -hmm. it's even faster. Mm -hmm. I slow down. Just slow down. down. That's yeah, you can do all that. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I feel like. That's kind of what I imagine. I imagine they never have. So who is just breathing? Me. Yeah. So just that's me. what you you have to do. Cam does it. Mm -hmm. I do it. I got myself breathing all day. Yeah. Um, you don't myself. want to breathe like that. Yeah. And we're setting the right. It should be the three inhale, four exhale timing for the first feedback. If that's what right. So if you're really setting that and thinking about that as you speak, to, I mean that's not an easy thing to do, but maybe even timing yourself on your phone and j just one sentence, just to play it back and see what your speed is like and just really working that out for yourself. Like, what's one option? If you really, really want your body rhythm to be at that, do a 15 minute meditation with a three second inhale and a four second exhale so that you're imprinting it into the rhythm in your body. The stronger you have where you can pause. You have your son see you're not pausing. The stronger you have time to be kind of like you can you can take that pause and breathe and to yourself and that pause is supposed to be there. There should be you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There's five breaths. You can take that silence is okay. No yeah. silence is needed. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. That's I think you might find is when I did my um, taping myself doing the calling out or doing um, 
Peace fingers to big toe. No, or are you talking about standing pose? We're still standing. Yeah. So standing pose. Got it. Okay. Got it. Got it. What is what? What is it? Yes, sir. Knee.
inhale, we're going to keep our leg lifted, or you can keep the knee down like that if it's not available for you to have it straight. We're going to hold here for five breaths. One.
this is a hard one because most of us have a hard time balancing it as it is. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we do just do a little dip, then you feel a little more balanced or in. But either way, wherever you find your balance, you're hugging right to the middle. Mm -hmm. okay, I do. Yeah, because I'm hugging right in the middle. Uh-huh. 
You know, it's still commanding your attention. Yeah. Uh, erector spinae. The blue muscles are agonist agonist muscles. They are flexing. So, do you guys notice that when you're in sad pose, sad pose, what are you feeling here? Like one your side. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, what oh, is this word? Yes. 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 Activation. What is Padabanda in this one? Flex feet. Flex. Toes flex. I think it's, 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 it's all it's four like corners. corners. Your walls of your toes. Your toes. Your toes. Your toes. Push. Right there. Push. Push. Spreading your toes. Ooh. Now pretend the other foot is here. Push them. And flex. Like you're trying to push your inner thigh down as well. Oh my goodness, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's stack pose. So Pada Bandha, just like when we do this in Asta Bandha, right? Mm -hmm. Or this, you can have the dome shape. It's the same thing here. Mm -hmm. Pada Bandha, the inner edge of the thigh is actually moving in the forward direction. The outer edge of the hips are moving back. Is it okay if our heels come off the ground? Because like when I push my knees in here, yeah, the backs of yeah. my knees, my, okay. So I want you to play around with lifting your heels up off the ground, noticing if they start to rotate out. And then pushing in, flexing, pushing forward, and then practice pushing the heels into the ground, pulling the belly in, pushing the inner thighs down. So what could an adjustment be for this, and this is probably the only Maha Bandha pose that we got, right? Here. So, what is this Bandha? John Dara. John Dara. All together now. John Dara. John Dara. G A L A N D H A R A. I'm sorry, it was totally me, sorry. Okay, and what is this one? Uriana. Uriana Banda. And the last one? Mula Banda. Mula. All together. Maha. Mula. Maha. 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 So I'm stretching my biceps. What am I flexing? Triceps. Yeah. How about the upper back? Yeah, I should do that. Your shoulder bones. And what's happening with the back of the neck? And what's the action of the hands on the floor? Pushing. 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 And back. You're actually trying to slide it back. I was going to ask you about that. Hold the shoulder. Yep. What if you're kind of like T-Rex on a <laughs> Seriously. Lots. But then the blocks, it bends my arm a little bit. Okay, so work your feet else. first. Bend your feet. What about your arms? Your your arms really high 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 for you, so push your heels and your shoulders up. Step toes and then really turn the legs and the thighs pushing down. But keep your feet out there. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. For now, just place them here. And then push down to the middle of the chest. Chin down. Chest up. Okay. Pull the shoulders back. And you're feeling back. So not just down, feeling back. Different? Mm -hmm. Good. Take a big inhale. Exhale, relax the hands, and they are down. Inhale, the chest up. Exhale, pull the belly and stretch. Oh, there it is. Very, very nice. Very nice. 